Let's have a look at part B now. So the two families derive utility from the sandwiches that they consume and from the size of the part. We have the utility for every family, for the Adams and for the Besley over here. Now we have to derive the MRS between sandwiches and park size for both family. And the MRS is going to be the slope of an indifference curve, which is equal to the ratio of the marginal utilities of Z and S. Let's show it on a graph and understand the intuition of what we're doing over here. So we have, we have the relationship between sandwiches and the park size Z. So we have sandwich over here and Z. An indifference curve is usually convex. We assume this to be a normal indifference curve like that. The slope between them, what is that going to show us if we draw the slope to a point over here? The slope is showing us how much, how many actually, sandwiches we give up for an extra meter square of the park. That's literally what we're doing. The slope is how much we're going down on the y-axis, meaning how many sandwiches we give up to increase the size of the park, the meter square for the park, with one meter square. Now, when we increase the size of the park by one meter square, what do we get? We get an extra utility of having an additional meter square of the park size, meaning we have a marginal utility with respect to the park size. And we give up a certain marginal utility that we could have had from investing that meter square in the sandwich production. In other words, we want to know how much more happiness, how much more utility we get from that meter square invested in the park size relative to how much we could get if we invested in the sandwich production. Hope this makes sense. Now with this in mind, we can calculate the marginal utilities, sorry, the MRS, because the ratio this ratio is the MRS and we want to do it for both families. We want to do it for the Adams and for Besley. So let's do it. The marginal r rate of substitution, so MRS for family A is going to be equal to the marginal utility of family A with respect to, with respect to the park size, with respect to Z, divided by the marginal utility of family A with respect to the sandwiches. Now let's see what that's going to be. The marginal utilities are the derivatives. So we're working now with partial derivatives. The partial derivative of this function with respect to z, we're differentiating 20z with respect to z, which gives us only the constant of 20 divided by the marginal utility of this entire function with respect to s. What is s derivative is just going to be 1. So the result is going to be equal to 20. That is the MRS for family A. With the same logic, well, we're doing the MRS for family B, so MRS for family B, that's going to be the ratio between the marginal utilities of family B with respect to Z, with respect to the park size, divided by the marginal utility of family B with respect to the sandwiches. Now, again, we are doing some partial derivatives over here. The, this function, derivative with respect to Z, so we're differentiating the term that has the Z. 30 times square root of z derivative, that's just going to be 30 multiplied with 1 over 2 square root of z divided by the marginal utility with respect to s, which is 1 over 2s, and we're differentiating that. As a result, we get 1 over 2. Now, let's see what's going to be the result over here. We can, we can work out some math. So 30 divided by 2, that's 15, right? These two cancel out, and we're left with 15 divided by square root of z divided by 1 over 2 means multiplying with 2. So we're multiplying with 2. 15 times 2, that's going to be equal to 30 divided by square root of z. So that's 30 divided by square root of z, and that's the marginal rate of substitution for family B. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we'll solve another question that is related to what we just found.